Rugged. Versatile. Quality. Trijicon. Let's get started. Use the integral TA-51 mount. Tighten with finger pressure and secure half a turn with a coin. No need for a separate mount, which is really nice. Use the included AA battery for 700 hours of battery life to illuminate the reticle. To zero the optic, the capped adjustment knobs click positively and solidly. Every click is a half an inch at 100 meters. To change illumination, the illumination knob goes from one to six with an off position in between. To change magnification, the zoom knob has a fin which allows for easy adjustment without the need for a separate scope lever. Like the TR24, the eye relief is a solid 4 inches throughout its magnification range. The VCOG is a first focal plane reticle, which means the reticle changes size with magnification. This means that your BDC is accurate no matter the magnification, and can also be used for ranging. Speaking of the BDC, this is the horseshoe reticle for 223-55 grain bullets. I couldn't get it to match exactly with my 14.5 inch using the manual's 100 meter zero, so I zero for 200 yards. The BDC was close enough then. At 1x and during bright sunlight, as you can see the max illumination at 6 will wash out a bit, but because of the thick lines you see at the top and bottom and sides, you never lose the reticle. As you can zoom into 6x, the thick lines become even thicker. This makes the reticle a little bit too busy for my taste. Still, you can shoot the VCOG pretty fast at 1x. Let's put it to the shredding test against the CQB King Deotech. So, Deotech still outperforms VCOG at close range, but it's not the runaway winner. Also, you probably noticed that the VCOG reticle illumination starts to come alive once it gets closer to dusk, whereas it washed out a little bit earlier during the day. So, in summary, the VCOG has great glass and good illumination, although I do wish it were a little bit brighter. It's heavy at 23 ounces, and the price point is high at over $2,000. I think there are several good and cheaper alternatives like the Vortex Razor 1-6X and the Burrs XTR2 1-5X. And of course, I'm still running the excellent Trijicon TR24 1-4X. Is the VCOG a must-buy? I don't think so, as it didn't really amaze me. But if you can afford it and need that bomb-proof toughness, definitely check out the Trijicon VCOG.